Hi friends, welcome to Insert Second Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about ICC Chief Prosecutor sought arrest warrant for both Israel and Palestine leaders, including Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Israel Foreign Minister as well. So, in this context, we will try to understand about ICC and the jurisdiction of ICC, whether ICC has having the jurisdiction in Palestine or not. What about the Israel? And what about India? Whether India ratified ICC? or how the ICC came into existence. What is the fundamental difference between the ICC and ICJ? At the end of the video, we are going to discuss about Indian judges who worked at ICJ. And so ICJ, voluntary jurisdiction and ICJ's compulsory jurisdiction. What is the difference between those two? So all these topics we are going to cover in this particular video. First, without any further delay, we'll see the context of this topic. Okay, the context is ICC chief prosecutor here, he sought the ICC, International Criminal Court, for the issuance of arrest warrant for Israel and Hamas leader, including Israel Prime Minister and Israel Foreign Minister. In this particular process, the key personality involved was ICC Chief Prosecutor. He was the Chief Personality. He sought the request from the ICC and he was helped by Human Rights Advocate Activist. Okay, You know that Miss Clooney. Here, of course, Israel completely rejected this particular request for ICC. Now, let's see whether the ICC issued the warrant or not. Okay. Next, what is the process is going to be involved there? Now, this particular request from the chief prosecutor, that is Karim Khan. Okay. Karim Khan requested the ICC. Now, the ICC will examine the process. In this process, three judges, they will consider the prosecutor's evidence and they determine whether to issue the arrest warrant and allow a case to proceed further or not. In case, if they don't issue any arrest warrant, nothing will happen. Even though they issue the arrest warrant, nothing will happen. Because Israel is not signed the ICC, that is the Rome statue, even not ratified as well. Of course, if you cannot sign, you won't, you cannot ratify the agreement. Okay. What are the consequences? The only consequence is, in case if ICC issue arrest warrant against these Israel and Hamas leaders, then when they go to foreign countries, the country which ratify the ICC already, they may arrest these leaders. That means, it will impose certain travel restrictions on these leaders. That is the only concern. And the surprising thing here is, Palestine is a member of the ICC. Now tell me guys. Recently, some countries supported the Palestine membership in the UNO. Which countries are they? Okay. Next, arrest warrant. It means that the member country of ICC, they will arrest. And to prosecute these Israel and Palestinian leaders, they have to be bring before the ICC. Because persons in their absence cannot be prosecuted at ICC. That means the court cannot try defendant in absentia. That we have to understand. What is the ICC? It is ICC is a permanent court which prosecutes serious international crimes committed by the individual mainly. It won't, uh, you know, like uh, deals with the nations, mainly it deals with the individual crimes only. And it different from the United Nations International Court of Justice because ICJ deals with the disputes related to nations, especially when nations are violating the international treaties and agreements. And the headquarters, both of these organizations headquarters present in The Hague, Netherlands, of course. Next, the ICC came into establishment through Rome Statute in 2002. Rome Statute was made in 1998. And categorically, ICC deals with following four cases under this. The crime of genocide, crime against humanity, war crimes and crime of aggression. Here, the human rights activist, okay, she was accusing that. These Israel leaders deliberately they are creating the hungerness in uh, this Gaza area. Through that, they are committing the war crimes. Okay, creating hunger is also one sort of war crime. This was used at various times, especially Germany also used this method as a part of war crimes in World War II. Here we have to understand some basic knowledge regarding the Israel Palestine map. Actually, Palestine consists of two separate territories. One is the West Bank, the other one is the, the, the one is the Gaza, the other one is the West Bank. Here we are mainly talking about the Gaza. Because Hamas, which is carrying activities from Gaza, 
they done attack on the south part of israel like seven months back from there onwards ongoing conflict is happening between the israel and gaza the gaza strip is sharing the border with the mediterranean sea and of course it is also sharing with one of the peninsula of egypt what is the name of that peninsula comment in the so comment section next let's see the membership member countries in icc are 123 countries india china iraq north korea turkey they never signed the rome statute forget about the ratifying us russia israel and syria they signed but never ratified i already told you in political classes that even though india signed any agreements those agreements have to be ratified by the parliament then only it means we officially accepted that particular agreement regarding the finance icc gets mainly funding from the member countries the cap on the member country funding is 22 percentage that means a country cannot give more than 22 percentage of the icc's total funding it is mainly to avoid one country dominance but nonetheless icc mainly dominated by the advices given by the united nations security council or cases forward forwarded by the united nations security council that is the reason india never accept the icc and icc jurisdiction total number of judges are 18 and the duration of each judge is 9 years term next the way how the investigation will be opened in icc it can be done in three ways three ways possible the last possibility we are discussing that is a chief prosecutor can request the icc to start the investigation that we are discussing now here here the chief prosecutor is karim khan there are two more ways that is un security council may recommend the icc to start investigation or else country which already ratify the icc they may request the icc to start the investigation these are the possible three ways through which icc can start investigation or issuing the warrant then criticism of the icc of course one of the criticism is the trial is taking too long if you look at here for the last 19 20 years they able to convict only 10 persons that is a very low conviction rate even that conviction to the trial process also it is taking very long and it is not justifying the financial resources invested in the icc because the budget of the icc for 2021 was around 160 million dollars and second criticism is it is not taking action on the western or developed country leaders because few people i mean at certain point of times they filed a cases in icc regarding america war crimes in afghanistan but icc failed to take any action on american or american soldiers because of this discriminatory nature of icc african na- nations under the leadership of kenya even they threatened that they'll exit out of the icc the formal protest also conveyed by the african countries so these are some of the criticism on the icc and of course india not joined in the icc because one is it is just working under the uh, direct orders of the united nation security council and second one is the the warrant process which can be started by the chief prosecutor that is also not acceptable to india because a single person requesting the icc and through that way icc is also allowing the arrest warrant that is not comfortable to india so these are some of the objections that is the reason india never joined into icc of course these are the fundamental differences between the icc and icj icj established in 1946 icc established in 2002 icj is one of the principal organs of the unvo whereas icc is independent of the unvo location both are located at hague netherlands type of cases generally icj deals with contentions between the parties or countries you all know that indian pakistan approach to icj regarding the kulbushan jadhav case whereas icc mainly deals with the individuals who are subjected to four different types of the crimes next the funding icj's majority of the funding come from the unvo whereas for the icc it comes from the member countries subjected to the cap of 22 percentage icj established in 1948 principal organ of the unvo judges terms 9 years and the total number of judges are 15 official languages are english and french icj voluntary jurisdiction or compulsory jurisdiction both are there voluntary jurisdiction means if both the parties approach voluntarily to icj then icj will involve or else sometimes icj jurisdiction will already included when countries are or when companies are making the agreements at that time compulsorily those parties have to approach to the icj that is the compulsory jurisdiction of icj 
and India is a party to ICJ. So whatever the decisions or judgments given by the ICJ, they are binding on India. Okay. And following are the Indian judges who represented at ICJ at different point of times. Bengal Rao, Bengal Nasinga Rao, B N Rao, 1952 to 53. Then Nagendra Singh, R S Pathak. At the moment, Dalvir Singh Bandari is representing India in ICJ. Okay, Indian judge. There is speciality regarding the B N Rao regarding the Constituent Assembly. What was the speciality related to B N Rao in the Constituent Assembly? Come into your answer. Yesterday's video question with reference to spreadix. Consider the following statement. The answer is. Two only. It can increase the longevity of a mission and provide a futuristic option to combine various missions. That is the right answer regarding the spreadix. Today's video question. Today's video question is regarding. Consider the following statement related to International Criminal Court. Here, these are the three statements. Pick the correct statement. Main question: What are the fundamental differences between the ICC and ICJ? This is a very basic question. You can easily answer. Next. As we reach to the end of this video, in this video we mainly discussed about the chief prosecutor of ICC seeking the arrest warrant for Israel Prime Minister, Israel Foreign Minister, and other Palestinian leaders. So, as a part of that, we discussed about ICC evolution, ICC member countries, ICC jurisdiction, ICC and India, comparison between the ICC and ICJ, and further details regarding the ICJ and Indian judges who represented in ICJ. So these are the details we covered in this particular video. I hope this video is adding value into your preparation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.